ठीक है गुड मॉर्निंग बॉयज आई स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर एट मैन मेड एंड नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स चैप्टर नंबर सेवन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट थ्रू द फ्रीको ऐप एंड नाउ विल गो थ्रू द केस स्टडी नेचुरल एंड मैन मेड डिजास्टर्स द केस स्टडी इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फ्लड्स इन आसम देन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द अर्थ क्वेक ऑफ नेपाल एंड द ऑयल स्पिल्स which is a regular feature sometimes it has taken place in the coastal areas of usa so we are going to discuss about it now i start with the floods in assam first of all you should know what is flood flood is an overflow of water that submerges the land which is usually dry this is how we define flood it is the overflow of water that usually submerges the land which is dry the overflow may be from water bodies like rivers lakes or due to the breach or break in the embankment or the rivers and sometimes even due to excessive rainfall now the natural phenomenon that occurs this natural phenomenon which occurs is due to the heavy rainfall in the upper courses of rivers so we are talking about the floods and that too the regularly occurring floods in assam apart from this in the chapter you will see there is another term called flash floods so what do you mean by flash floods flash floods are those floods that develop suddenly in few minutes and this is caused due to intense thunderstorms or due to breach or break in the embankment of any river or a dam some something like this so these are fl flash floods all of a sudden nobody is expecting a flood and it occurs that is known as flash flood now let us talk about the floods in assam now this is a regular feature as i told you repetitive event that occurs in assam because of presence of vast network of river systems in the northeastern part of a country amongst the major causes of floods in assam the first one is the heavy rainfall in the upper courses of the river brahmaputra especially in the state of arunachal pradesh like if we go down this side brahmaputra flows all across say tibet enters india from arunachal in the upper courses of arunachal pradesh in upper parts of assam and even in bhutan these are some places which receives quite heavy rainfall more than 250 cm a year so due to excessive rainfall heavy rainfall in the upper courses of the river the volume of water in the river increases another reason for the cause of floods in assam is the silting of rivers now what do you mean by silting silting is a process by which the sediments they get deposited at the bottom of the river on the river bed suppose generally a river forms a v shaped valley when the river is flowing if we dry up a river we can see a v shaped valley formed by the river so generally the shape of the river is like this and due to silting as the water means the run of water and even the river when it's flowing it carries on with the work of erosion so it brings the sediments these sediments gradually settle down at the bottom of the river that is at the base the bed of the river like this gradually filling it up obstructing the flow and the the capacity of the river to allow the flow of the water decreases as a result of which the volume of water which was within the banks of the river it starts flowing over over the banks it breaks the banks and starts flowing on the sides of the bank and causes floods so this silting is another major problem that causes the floods in assam other than this there is a high rate of snow melting the glaciers at the mountains most of the mountains they all are snow capped because of lapse rate because as we go upward there is a decrease in temperature at the rate of 6.4 degrees celsius every 1 km ascent so most of the mountainous peaks mountain peaks they all are glaciated or snow capped now during the summers due to high rate of heat means the temperature is high so the snow melts at a faster rate and that also adds to the volume of water in the river so this is another reason then we have landslides these re this region especially in the northeastern part of india 
occurrence of landslide is a very common feature landslide i told you in the last chapter what does it mean generally large masses of earth when it rolls down from the slopes of the mountain we call it as landslide now due to this landslide certain areas temporary dams are formed naturally and that that obstructs the flow of the run of water surface run of water and even sometimes small streams gradually impounding the water in a small area and due to this impounding of water what happens the low lying areas they get submerged under water so landslide is also a cause for floods in assam and lastly the long winding course of the rivers what do you mean by long winding course suppose a river is flowing it bends again this way it flows it bends now due to this curve and the bend what happens the flow of the water over here is obstructed again when it flows and bends over here the flow of the water is obstructed and this obstructs the smooth flowing of the water due to which part of the water in the river that gets spread over the sides of the river and causes causes floods other than this in the recent years construction of large number of embankments which causes drainage congestion and due to breach in these embankments the people have constructed it that that's not a planned an embankment which has been done just for the safety as a safety measures the people they have also constructed embankment just to prevent the water coming entering their houses and the town areas or the localities these construction of embankments has resulted into congestion of drainage and this also causes floods in assam now what are the effects let us discuss the effects of floods in assam the effects first of all due to the floods hundreds of acres of land it gets submerged causing irreparable loss because when there is a spread of water it spreads over a large area and everything all the land is under the water so it causes irreparable loss secondly it causes damage to cultivating areas and grazing grounds basically the northeastern part especially assam is a agricultural based state so it affects economically it destroys the crops which are which have been cultivated in the field they get submerged under water the crop failure is a is the result of this flood so that is another problem it also causes soil erosion because of movement of the water the top nutrient rich soil the top soil is always rich in nutrients that is also washed away this washing away of the soil is known as soil erosion so soil erosion is caused due to which we lose a lot of fertile soil every year which is very essential for agricultural practices apart from this due to water logging the possibilities of outbreak of epidemics is very high because there are certain water borne diseases like cholera dysentery diarrhea typhoid malaria they all can appear and they can cause a lot of loss of life in that area and one more very major effect of the floods is there is shortage of food and potable water safe drinking water there is a scarcity of food and water supply in the areas where we have floods especially in assam although the government takes initiatives for providing certain relief for the people but still it's not so easy to provide relief to each and every one in every corner of the state all right now amongst major floods which have occurred in assam the one which occurred in the year 2016 is considered to be the worst floods in assam why because this affected nearly 1.8 million people that's a big number 1.8 million people were affected not only this you must have heard about the kaziranga national park which is very famous and popular for its single horn rhinos that was also totally submerged in this flood and more than 22 one horn rhinos they lost their lives leave aside the life of the people also thousands of people were 
they lost their lives during this flood. So it's considered to be one of the worst floods in the recent times in Assam. So what are the what are the solutions? How can we overcome this tragedy of flood every year? There should be some very concrete measures or steps which can be taken up. Amongst them, first most effective solution is construction of embankments and bonds along the river Brahmaputra and its tributaries. Strong, systematic embankment and construction of bonds should be done on this river. Secondly, they should set up a national water grid which will help to divert the water from the water from the water surplus rivers to the areas where we have scarcity of water means the areas where we have deficient water deficient areas so we we should go for i think some years back the government the central government had the plan of construction means setting up of the national water grid by connecting all the rivers especially the rivers in north india they all are perennial rivers they have water throughout the year they don't depend on monsoon rain for waters because they are snow fed rivers they get the water supply due to the melting of the snow from the himalayas so the what these are perennial rivers so we can connect the rivers and divert the water excess water in those rivers which get flooded there are a number of rivers like ganga kosi brahmaputra almost every year they get flooded and we every every year we read in the newspaper there is so much of loss of life and property in these areas even now it's the monsoon time and we can see if you go through the newspaper you will come across news of different rivers which are flowing above the danger mark so by construction or setting up of the national water grid 